In the last video, we got it to drive around the block. Today, we're going to make a trip to the gas station. So the gas station is five, six miles away. Um, hopefully we'll make it. Off camera, we've put on the hard top, which is awesome. I love convertibles with hard tops on them. Um, but the other thing we did is I fixed the power steering. So that is all brand new, brand new pump, brand new cylinder, brand new everything. Hopefully it doesn't leak too much. Uh, when I filled the pump, overfilled it, of course. And haven't, I've, I leaked, checked it, but there might be still a few drops. But I have my cameras, I have my tripods, and we'll see what happens. See this here? This is for you guys. Even though I do this, I'm sure somebody will say, why didn't you clean the windshield? Well, it's really, really dirty. Now it's cleaner. So this car has a really bad habit of it flooded out on me a couple times and I, I don't trust the carburetor yet. So we will be taking the lid off and watching it, making sure that it does not flood out. Because I don't want to deal with that. I do have a fire extinguisher in the car with me, also a bunch of tools and stuff like that. So. So far, so good. Now let's drive it. Doesn't it look good out in the sun? It looks awesome. I love hard tops. I'm gonna say that like eight times in this video, so. You're gonna have to get used to that. All right, as of right now, water temp is good, gas is questionable, oil pressure's good, battery's good, tack works. All right, let's do this. The crazy part is I have no license plates, so. bleeding on the brakes. Yeah, there's a little bit of air left in them. Power steering is nice. It tracks really straight for a crappy road like this. <laughs> Need to work on those brakes. We must save the turtle. Come here, turtle. What are you doing? Oh, he's angry. If you only knew what I was doing for you, be good. Back to the road. Brakes need a little bit more bleeding. I feel 
like I'm smoking something. Let's see what's going on. I just want to double check I don't have anything crazy going on. It's leaking a little right there. Okay, we can do that. Nothing major just coming out. I think it's all this, the smoke from the exhaust, so we'll keep going. build up. I think I'm gonna run out of gas before I get there. <laughs> There's a lot of oil build up on everything underneath there so gotta let it burn out. is so quiet you can't even hear it there you go 5.6 miles tack works gas gauge works temp works all pressure works battery works all the important things work you can barely hear this car run she made it. There's the gas station. Yeah, I can't even tell this car is on. Awesome. All right, as of March of 2021, I'm paying $2.60 a gallon. In these smog air motors, there's really no need to put in anything that's I think I'm gonna put in. Let's try 10 gallons. Alright, so I put in 20 bucks. I didn't want to get to 10 gallons just because I don't want it thinking out the top of the tank if it needs it. 
no receipt. Okay, sorry Kevin, no receipt. So let's check under the hood one more time. Just kind of eyeball. Make sure there's nothing out of the ordinary going on. There's no gas leaks. No power steering leaks. I'm assuming all the oil burnt off. That's looking good. I think we're good. Underneath. Uh, I went over water, so, but I don't see any other puddles. Let's check one more time, make sure the car doesn't flood out. I think we're good. It's funny, I'm so used to uh, my convertible, which is kind of a crazy thing. I'm not used to how quiet this car is. Steering starting to whine. Of course, I didn't bring any. Doing empty, so I didn't bring any. Oh, now you work, door buzzer. All right, so the power steering is empty, and I don't know why. It might have just bled itself. I didn't. I put a whole quart in, or it exploded. That's cool too. What exploded? Oh man. That just happened too. Welp. <laughs> we will take <laughs> we will take the belt off. That's not what I was expecting to happen today. I just got done with that. <laughs> Old cars, man. All right, so the power steering pump exploded or something on the system exploded. So we got to undo we got to undo that belt. Luckily, if the car is not too hot, all we need is a 9 16 and a ratchet. That's why I carry tools in old cars all the time. All right, so the nut for the pump. It's right on the back. It's right there. I just undo that, push the pump forward, take the belt off, and then 
we're good to go the rest of the way. I wish I could clean all this fluid out, but you know, what can I do? All right, got the belt off. Tempted to see how much fluid is still left in here. Probably not much. You know what, it's way too hot for that. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay. I don't know where it blew off at or what. But it looks like it was coming out of the top of the power steering pump. That's weird. I don't know, well, we're driving home. No power steering. Make sure nothing catches on fire. Should be good. That was exciting. A pupper. Hi, pupper. Hey, buddy. Hi, pup. Did you come to see what was wrong? Hi. Hi, big guy, girl. I don't know what you are. Hi. Yeah, I'm a stranded motorist in front of your house. But I will leave in a second. A good luck pup, right there. Good luck pup. Out the way pup. All right. Oh. See if we can make it back without anything else exploding. That stuff's all new, I don't get it. Oh well. That's why you take test drives and you don't just give it back without uh, test driving it. Good, water temp is good, oil pressure is good, battery's good. Chop's neck! Are you happy to see me? I found another dog out there and it wanted to come home with me. Hey, we got. Hi, Walter. We made it! Yay! Yay! Okay. Alright, guys, look, there it is. 10 miles. First time since 1986. 10 miles, first time in 1986. The only casualty was the power steering system that I just put on. I don't know if the pump exploded or a line burst or something, because it wasn't leaking for the first five miles, but it decided to want to let all its guts out on the second five miles. So let's get it up in the air, see what's wrong with it. I mean, a couple little things we need to do. The hard top needs to be latched a little bit tighter. Um, yeah, little stuff. So that's awesome.